This bright blue Chevy Monte Carlo and a bright yellow Chevy Malibu were both stolen while they were in town for a car show. Yeah, the guys who really took pride in the cars think that this is part of a bigger crime ring. And they spoke to reporter Elsa Gillis about their disbelief and despair, realizing that the cars that they love are gone. This is my first attempt at restoring an old car. That's a freshly painted 1984 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. It's been two years in the making for Garrett Reed. And this past weekend's Hot Rod Power Tour stop in Concord was the first show he took it to. And unless it's found, it'll be its last. Because this car was manic. Like, this car was dumb fast. It was fun. It would blow the tires clean off anytime you touch the throttle. I mean, it was just like you literally couldn't drive the car without smiling. And I didn't get a chance to enjoy it. He was staying at the Courtyard Marriott along W.T. Harris Boulevard, where he says it was parked when it was stolen. When I'm like, okay, wait a minute, this has got to be a joke. Like, where's my car at? And then, like, basically my knees about fell off from underneath me. So I ran outside, and that's when I ran into Tom. And he was like, my car just got stolen. That's Tom Childress he's talking about. I spoke with him over the phone as he drove his rental car back home to Ohio today instead of his 1983 Chevy Malibu station wagon to the next stop on the tour. It was uh, pretty much my baby. Walked back out to take some stuff to the car and um, it was gone. What makes this even crazier? Reed says he brought his removable steering wheel into his hotel room with him. And I thought that that was going to be my you know, theft deterrent. Obviously, that wasn't enough. He thinks the thieves towed it. For both men who poured their hearts into these cars, they hope some sort of justice comes from this. Just in disbelief that there would be such low lives out there. The best thing I hope for is that this will deter more people from doing it in the future because it, it's, it's a terrible feeling. Now, I am standing near where those victims told me their cars were stolen. Right now, police say they are investigating and no one has been charged. We've also heard reports of more classic cars stolen in the area over the weekend. I am asking police about that. Back to you. Wow, Elsa, that's amazing. And those cars are pretty hard to miss, too. So hopefully somebody saw something.